hello everyone so today i am going to discuss with you this problem so this is a, a standard problem in linear algebra that one can expect so here u and v these two are the subspaces which are given to you so you can assume that they are the subspaces but if you want to prove that why they are the subspaces then i have recorded one lecture on how to prove that they form a subspace so link you can see in the description for this question it is given that u and v are subspaces of which space they are the subspaces of p3 of x what is p3 of x it is a polynomial of degree at most p that means all polynomials of degree less than equal 3 in x is the variable so that's our vector space p3 of x and u and v are the subspaces of that vector space p3 of x and u is those polynomials u consists of those polynomials which has one as a root or which has one as a zero or when you replace your x by one that polynomial vanishes that is my u and what is my v those polynomial which has minus one as a root so this two forms a subspace of p3 of x what the question is you have to find the basis and dimensions for the subspace u v u intersection v and you have to tell what is u plus v so that's what the question is now let's go one by one so let's let us try to address the first question what are the basis and dimension of the subspace u so u is what those polynomials or i would say polynomials of degree at most three so your p of x will be ax cube plus vx square plus cx plus d and what is the condition given to you the condition given to you is p of one is zero now you, what you do is whenever you have such kind of questions you put the condition in the given polynomial so when you put p of 1 equal to 0 what do we get you replace your x by 1 you get a into 1 cube plus b into 1 square plus c into 1 plus d equals 0 so the first step is you put the given condition once you put the given condition you simplify it so here i get d is equal to minus a minus b minus c you can also write a equal to minus b minus c minus d not a problem or b equal to minus a minus c minus d not an issue so you can simplify whichever way you like so this is my d equal to okay now what was given to you this was my u right polynomial of degree at most 3 and this was the condition now you put the condition so if you can observe here carefully i have simply put the condition that i got so this condition i have simply put here what was my d minus a minus b minus b. once you put this condition you can take out a common you can take out b common and you can take out c common you can observe your u is nothing but it is span of the three polynomials x cube minus one x square minus one and x minus one. now since x cube x square and x are linearly independent when you subtract by a number it still remains linearly independent so x cube minus x x square sorry x cube minus one x square minus one and x minus one are still linearly independent polynomials if you are uncomfortable with this statement you can try to prove it how do you prove you take c1 into x cube minus 1 plus c2 into x square minus 1 plus c3 into x minus 1 equal to 0 multiply c1 c2 c3 inside compare the coefficients of x cube x square and constant and x and then your c1 c2 and c3 will come out to be zero. that is another way to prove that they are linearly independent now as they are linearly independent what do you get you get that they form the basis because it is spanning u and they are independent therefore this set forms a basis for the subspace u and therefore the dimension of u is p now at this moment i would suggest you to pause the video and think what will what will be the basis and dimension for the subspace p okay you can pause the video but i will proceed okay. what is v those polynomials which has minus 1 as a root that means it vanishes when you replace your x by minus 1 and when you do that what do you get you get minus a plus b minus c plus d equal to 0 the first step is to put the given condition second step is to simplify now if you simplify here so you get d is equal to a minus b plus c or you can also write a is equal to or b equal to or c equal to whatever you like now what was our v those polynomials with p of minus 1 equal to 0 so the polynomial is written here the condition is put over here now in the next step you replace your d by this condition this is what i get in the next step you take out your a b and c common 
and these are the three polynomials you get over here and again you can see that these three polynomials are linearly independent same way if c1 times x cube plus 1 plus c2 times x square minus 1 plus c3 times x plus 1 is 0 multiply c1 c2 c3 inside compare the coefficient is will come up to be zero okay and therefore they form the basis so this v2 set forms a basis for the vector space v and again it has three elements therefore the dimension of also now from here you can easily guess that u intersection v is a subspace of u is a subspace for v therefore u intersection v should have less dimension it's just one of the observation now what is u intersection v those polynomials that satisfy both the condition because your p of x is in u as well as it is in v that means for this p of x one is also the root and minus one is also the root what to do you put both the condition so when you put both the condition what do you get when you put one you get a plus b plus c plus d equals zero when you put minus one you get minus a plus b minus c plus d equals zero a system of two linear equations okay either you can write down this in the matrix form and you can do the row operations when you have five six equations i will prefer i would prefer you to do that way but in this case there are only two conditions now either you can add or you can subtract so suppose if i add then what you can see you can see that a and c will get cancelled and what you get you get 2b plus 2d equal to 0 that means your d is minus b or b is minus b Similarly, if you subtract these two equations, then b and d will go away, only a and c will remain. That is, you get 2a plus 2c equal to 0, so a is minus c. So, you are getting two conditions because p of 1 was 0, p of minus 1 was 0, so you are getting two conditions. So, this was your u intersection with those polynomials which has these two conditions. Now, what is the next step? You put the conditions over there. When you put the conditions over there, this is what you get. Now again x cube minus x and x square minus 1 they are linearly independent again try to prove it therefore u intersection the span of these two polynomials therefore it forms a basis for u intersection v. Now since there are only two elements in the basis set b3 therefore the dimension of u intersection v is 2. Okay. And now let's come to the last question for that I am going to use the dimension theorem we know that dimension of u plus v is this thing right. Now, you put the values, you have 3 plus 3 minus 2 which is 4. But, what is u plus v? It is the subspace of P3 of x. And dimension of u plus v and dimension of P3 of x is 4. Because for B3x, what are the basis? 1, x, x square and x cube. So, both have same dimension. So, there is a very nice theorem in linear algebra which says that if A is a subspace of B, and if dimension of A is same as the dimension of B, then your A and B has to be. Okay? And therefore, your U plus V is equal to P. So, and therefore, the dimension of U plus V is 4 and the basis will be 1 x x square and x cube. Or in short, U plus V is for the whole space P3 of so If you have doubt in any of the steps, then you can definitely ask me in the comment section. Thank you.